Welcome to Home TV. I'm Tracy Prees and here's what's happening in Northwestern Ontario today. Mask mandates in high-risk settings could be extended later this month. Ontario Premier Doug Ford said he would support the extension if it is recommended by the province's Chief Medical Officer of Health, Dr. Kieran Moore. Hospitalization rates across the province have been steadily increasing and is expected to continue rising due to the BA2 variant's high transmissibility. According to the COVID-19 Science Advisory Table for Ontario, COVID-19 infections in healthcare workers are as high as it was during the Omicron wave back in 2021, which will have a negative impact on hospitals' ability to treat COVID-19 patients. The mask mandate for public settings was lifted on March 21st, and the mandate for high-risk settings was set to be lifted on April 27th. Police services across the Kenora District have received funding from the Ontario government in order to improve community safety. A three-year investment of $1.3 million has been granted to police service boards in Kenora, Dryden and Nestor Falls Sioux Narrows as part of the province's Community Safety and Policing Grant program. The program is meant to help policing services across Ontario take initiative in public safety, focusing on gun violence, sexual assault and harassment, human trafficking and mental health awareness. The Kenora Police Service Board will be using their share of the funding of $850,000 to support their mobile crisis response team for youth aged between 12 and 24. Dryden Police will use their $281,000 to work with community partners and focus on school programming to educate students on phone, internet and bike safety. And the Sioux Narrows Nestor Falls Police will be using their funding of $196,000 to support the expense of a community services officer to enhance the safety of the community. And that's your Home TV News Update for this hour. I'm Tracy Preece. Have a great day.